investment. Uh, Guineria. Yes. Uh, I'm going to scare it with some more dissonant whispers, this drake right in front of me, and try and get it to leave. Sure. We're not going to superpower this one. Uh, Yes, it is I who makes the saving throw. Yes. I only need to hit a 13, huh? Nice. Only. Easily. Oh, there you go. Four points. Two things. Four points. <clears throat> I was really hoping to drive it away. What else you got? Uh, I'm going to use my bonus action to shout to Tanira and it's like, take your thumb, gouge it into its lip, and then just tear its jaw off. You could do it. Giving advice for my bardic inspiration. So that just gives you a assign a d6 to a roll as you want sweet you can and... you can add the d6 after you've after you yes. made the roll but before okay. you know what the result is okay that's horrifying advice i never mm. wanted to hear that <laughs> got a fish hook. you got a fish hook my grandma nope. that's I'm... how you do it <laughs> <laughs> never uh... mind um that's really all i can do other than provoking an attack if i move and so i'm not gonna move i'm just gonna stay they put watching the scales, watching the skies. How yeah. many hit points does your boy Sparky have? Uh, twenty, I believe. <laughs> all right, I don't think he I says can get with him no out. real reason at all. I don't think I can <laughs> get him in one yeah, round. With, with this, oh. you're fight, fight, attacking with disadvantage because he's he's taking the dodge action. I don't think he can get worse than a one. Sure. Yeah. Uh, fifteen. Uh, fifteen. I think is a hit. Uh, no, it's not. He's got sixteen armor class. Unbelievable. Okay. This creature is not attacking Sparky in any way which can be understood as physical. They aren't biting at each other. There's no tail slaps. There's no body contact at all. Instead, this green drake has pushed itself uh, down into the ground. And it's almost like it is pulling on an invisible chain that is drawing Sparky's draconic spirit out of him and into the drake. Uh, Sparky is holding on through the dodge. Uh, but you can tell that this is, this is bad. Like, draconic spirit should not go from the drake you ward into the drake you're fighting. Something mm. very, very wrong is happening here. Makes it to nearest turn. Okay. I'm going to take some uh, of that advice, and I'm just going to move forward I want to be clear that the jaw of a dragon is a lot sturdier and does not involve, for one, a lip uh, in the way that the... <sighs> human does but please and, uh, if you want to put your head in the mouth of a dragon go ahead i mean i didn't say take I all won't of it stop you. I'm, I'm definitely gonna give him a strong right cross with some uh with you know the difference blows. between a human and a drake is that the drake has a bite attack <laughs> all right give me that straight cross fuck so you start out with a missing attack you Fuck. spend a key point for Flurry but first one misses as well. Those, those two were Flurry of Blows for my well, you, bonus you, section. You, you can't you Flurry of Blows. Oh, okay. You have to do got a it, regular it, attack it. first. Okay. Um, then, yeah, the first one will be a regular, and then the second one will be a... It, it might be worth while spending your inspiration on that, that 13 attack. I think it's, with an extra D6, there's a good chance that'll hit. Mm -hmm. I think Which statistically, we know if, if you say you're going to do it, it will For the hit. last one? For the 13, yes. Yeah, yeah. so, so, roll, so, roll so the 13 will be the first Flurry of Blows attack in this new mm -hmm. paradigm. This... Gotcha. And a 13 does not hit, or it does hit? A 13 does not, but we okay. know that well, a 14 okay, okay. does. So Got if it. you yeah. use your inspiration, your bardic inspiration, you don't even need to roll it. You will hit. Oh, it, okay. If, yeah, it's I'll impossible for you to miss if you use inspiration. Cool. Then I will do that. All right. You go. You you follow Guineria's inspiration. You go for its jaw and try to rip it out. Roll your flurry of blows damage for the first. Uh, 
damage. Flurray. Uh, six bludgeoning damage. Very well. I need to make one more attack, right? Yes. That's right, yep. Uh, I just do an attack. Okay, I'll just roll it here. Yeah! Yes. So you get something nice. extra when you crush her. Yes, I do. Uh, attack, uh, attacks made to this creature have advantage until the start of my next turn. Yes. And Is it just he gets attacks from you or attacks from no, anybody? Attacks from anybody. Just yeah, anybody. Um, so it gets, moves back five feet, and then I want to use my move action to kind of back away from it. The rest of my move action. Uh, so I used five already. So that's ten. What's happening? Fifteen, twenty. Maybe these spaces are two, two each. 30. They cost, they cost, they cost ten each to move through. Even up here on the non-water part. Yes, because it's oh, it's filled okay. with trees and gotcha. brush. Then I'll just go there. You you still need to roll your critical damage. Oh yeah, my bad. My I would bad. hate for you to <laughs> to not, not get that. Yeah, bask in the glory glory of damage. That's all right. Uh, you continue to lay down a series of hits on it, and you use your your new crushing power to force this thing away from you. It skids back across the ground. In the process, you can tell that your last strike draws blood. What color was the one on the right? Sorry, green. AP? Green, okay. green, green at the top of the screen, black at the bottom. Okay, that makes things easier to follow along. Speaking um, of the bottom, I use flurry of blows. I'm gonna go ahead and eat Kith tricks real quick. Oh, Kith tricks! I hardly knew you. Thirteen, I'm thinking, isn't gonna hit. That's the, no, fourteen's a number. Oh, sorry, fifteen would be to beat it. That's why. Nope. Uh, again, classic tactics from these things. It's going to use its superior size to just try to force itself to slam down on top of you and then go for the tail swipe to trip you up. You, you've you been watching this whole battle unengaged until more or less this moment. Uh, you know exactly what it's going to do, and you simply rush past it. Uh, which will make it Kith Trix's turn. Okay. Uh, so first thing I'm going to do is attack it with my short sword. No, sorry. I put the wrong I've got the wrong actor selected. Let's try this again. All right. So that will yeah. hit. Yeah. Uh, I'm not using Sparky's reaction. Mm-hmm. So it's a big six damage. Uh, it's piercing. Okay. Then I am moving away, provoking attack opportunity. So if you want to attack me, then please do so. I You draw a line of blood off of your sword. It is black. And it before you send it flying off the sword, there is a stench to it. Uh, and I will try to bite you. Thank you for giving me that option. I feel like you're doing this to taunt me somehow or trick me as an 18. That will hit. Okay, very well. Uh, 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 uh. Oof. Wow, they're just not showing up today, huh? All right, four points yeah. of damage. Gets a, right, a brief nip on your, on your leg, just... <laughs> I'm moving under the tree, so the wyvern hopefully can't see me, or can't get at me as easily. Okay. Um, then Sparky is first off going to attack the drake with advantage. Yep. Hey. Okay, yes. that'll probably be a miss. Okay. 
Um, and then he is also going to move away, provoking attack opportunity. Yeah, we'll do it. Fourteen. No. Hmm. Unfortunate. All right. Uh, that's me done. And Spark Patrick. has still got his reaction. Godric. Yes. Um. <clears throat> I'm going to resummon my same same cousin or relation. Mm -hmm. I'm going to resummon him. Uh, 15. Right there. Well, so what happens is, uh, you you reach out spiritually and indicate you want them to move. So they uh, tuck the fan into a like, they just stuff it down their shirt. Then they bend down, grab their ankles. You see their head between their legs, and then they just somersault forward. But first, into the mud, and they whoosh into the water, and then come out of the water, somersaulting at the location you want. Okay. Um, yeah. I'm gonna have him move from there, because resummoning him was my bonus action. I'm gonna have him move up here, right. to put himself between Sparky and the other Drake. And then I'm going to attack this streak again. Sure. Yeah, Let's see what nice. and damage. ten piercing. Mm. Okay, wait. I Sparky will add the the his lightning damage to Gobby's attack then. Turning an nice. arrow into a lightning bolt again. Very well. What's the additional or, damage or, or, or she's rolling? Peak. I thought it was a war pick. Oh, and you're extra, doing a pick. Yeah. All right, we'll yeah, talk about that D in a second. What's the... D D6. Roll that D6. Am I rolling it or a James? Yeah, you no, you're rolling you, it. No, you're rolling it. You're rolling. It's a six. Oh, I called yeah. it. <laughs> well, you had a one in six chance of being right, so... <laughs> and was I? Yes. You were. There were five other universes where you were not. <laughs> where I was wrong. <laughs> and that's at the minimum, you know. Yeah. Uh, you bring the pick down. It does not transform into a lightsaber. None of that nonsense. It's not dwarfy enough. Your people are not unfamiliar with the workings of magic. They don't do it like everybody else. Dwarves prefer permanency to their magic. Runes, alchemy, where you capture magic, not in a moment, but forever bottled. Um, but you have seen unusual things in your time as a miner, including electricity. Its uses are not very well understood. Ways of capturing it are difficult. People do things like leave pots out, metal poles, all sorts of crazy stuff. Some people say you can harness it with the power of the premier dwarven crop, the potato. <laughs> um, you've seen demonstrations of people trying to prove that electricity will one day be useful to dwarven culture all of them are well they end with whoever is making the demonstration being demoted to being the fool of the clan uh it is not very well thought of but as you strike this drake you feel electricity flow through your body down your arm into the pick into this creature and you just you can briefly see its skeleton through his body. 
in a brief moment. No one else sees it. You, you don't even know how you know that no one else can see it. But you're like, whoa, electricity rules. <laughs> and that's well, it. Can't, can't be made the fool if I'm already exiled. <clears throat> You'd be I surprised. mean, don't, don't set your standards <laughs> too low. <laughs> <laughs> right? yep. uh, that's my turn. Life yeah. has a way. Uh, that brings us to the start of the round again. The mist around you, Gwineria, continues to recede. Daylight continues to shine. The sky brightens and the drake bleeds. What do you want to do? I'm going to be totally crazy. I'm going to, I'm going to make it look like I'm casting a spell. But as I move my hand, I then pass and stab towards its eye. The old thing. Describe this sword <laughs> move to me and your sword, which we have never seen on Chief. Uh, it's just, it's a short sword. It's very pointy. It's. Is there tapering? Full. Is there a fuller? How's the tang looking? It's. You can't see the tang because it's tang is covered orange. by the handle. Uh, it is a diamond profile blade. It kind of comes down to a nice point. It is well balanced, close to the hilt, which is straight, and it has a fishtail pommel. And I am going to try and bury it into. Do it. Oh. You I have to hit it attack. twice. And uh, I'm going to use the inspiration that we all had. Very well. Oh, that's Good right. Time. I still have that one. <laughs> yeah, it was a and great time it. to do it. Yeah. <laughs> all right, 20 total will hit. Eight points of damage, huh? Yep. I already have advantage on this guy. They, Drake is. You get the eye, for sure. Nice. It is not dead, but you manage to stab into the eye and uh, blood is gushing out. The smell is unreal. It is Ugh. so nauseatingly poisonous. It's like you open a can of Sir Stroming or whatever that. Sir Stroming? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> you open it. Everybody here immediately is like, oh! Oh. You want to vomit oh. from the blood gushing out of this thing's eye. Yeah. Well, that's going to make me do a bonus action to Misty Step so I can get away. So this is your first time like... using your Fey Misty Step, right? Yes. You, Galadriel, you just completely <sighs> invert into the negative photoverse. Yes. As you... You go from being green to like being a sort of blue, blackish, wispy, ghost like figure to everyone else in the area. The sun becomes a black moon. The sky becomes dark black, and the only stars in the sky are that of the Canaan. It all lasts for like a full five seconds before Gwineria reappears somewhere else. Next to Civix under the tree. Classic Galadriel. <laughs> I'm gonna have to draw that now. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Uh let's see here. How long did that how long does Crusher last? Until the start my of next your turn. next turn. Yeah. Yes. So it will not like it cannot further affect this thing unless this thing uh, draws an opportunity attack. Instead, it's going to chase Sparky and try to remove his draconic spirit once more. Is Sparky dodging right now? I uh, know he's not. That'll be a hit. Good, good. I'm taking some uh, inspiration from my boy Shang Sung. And sucking really badly, apparently. <laughs> All right, so uh, Sparky loses four hit points. Yep. And then gonna just strain a little bit more draconicness. No, I'm not. Nope. Okay. Okay. 
Sparky seems somehow diminished in this weird staring contest effort between the two dragons. Venera. Yes. Uh, I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep going after it because I've done a lot of damage to this thing. So, I'm gonna do another attack. I'm gonna use my the inspiration you gave me. Okay. Which didn't work out for me. <laughs> it did work out for you. A 14 is what you needed. Oh, so you, the AC. Oh, you would have seek. failed without the inspiration. Thank. God, damage normal. It's some pretty good stuff right there. Okay. Uh, definitely gonna flurry of blows. Okay. How many key Was points that, do you have? Because you wasn't that with a quarter staff? This is my last one. Yeah. Okay. Wasn't that with a quarter staff though? Yeah, quarter yeah. staff is a monk weapon. It's a monk weapon. Okay, yeah, it's okay, my cool. Kensei weapon as well. Okay, you fire blows it. Can you? Okay. Uh, flurry of blows. Attack. Yes. Attack. No. No. Um, so that first one is going to push him back five. But this is the damage. This Drake seems deeply, grievously wounded. As you push it back, it's like when bad people throw cats and they slide across the floor and then look hurt at the end. They look at you as if they are hurt emotionally. It's gonna make you feel bad. Yeah, by this bullying. I am just so happy that I can <laughs> I can keep juggling him. <laughs> like the best feat ever. We don't even need to talk about Godric. Kendrick, just take your turn. <laughs> okay, no worries. Uh, all right, I'm going to target the Drake that is by the, the Tenera just hit. Yeah. I'm uh, switching back to my bow now, by the way. Hmm? Yeah, first. Be me. Thank you. All right, that should hit. Indeed. Uh, so Sparky will infuse this strike. <laughs> so five damage of which one is electrical. The lightning bolt hits him. And for a moment, you think that nothing has happened, like almost as if it's been deflected. And then a little bit of smoke comes out of its mouth and then its eyes burst outwardly, and its whole body falls limply to the ground. Okay. All right, um, and then I will... Uh, Sparky will um, move behind Kitrix and take the dodge action. That's me done. Godric. All right. Um, I said well, we don't need to talk about it, and then you immediately talked about it. <laughs> well, I mean, the the people in chat didn't know what was going on. They don't need to know. All right. <laughs> I'm I'm guarding them from their favorite character's failures. The black drink. Uh. How's the black drake looking? Is it does it look rough at all or he's been bloodied? Look at that. Um, I appreciate gonna... Arthur's fourth edition vibes by telling us when the creature's been bloodied. Right. Uh, I'm gonna re summon as a bonus action my my dude on the other side here. You could you could just move him there without like, as a as a free action. Uh, but it's still difficult terrain. Yes. From going through the swamps. Yep. And I do believe he's affected by a terrain. I mean, you can move him to there as difficult terrain. 
Actually, he gets so far. No, he can go all the way because he's got thirty foot movement. But it's still it's still going through the water is difficult terrain. Yeah, it's three and spaces. I, and I'm pretty sure the echoes get uh, um, affected by terrain. Yes. So resummoning is the only way to get him back over here that fast. Very well. Um, I'll use another charge of unleash invocation. Um, which will take me from three remaining charges down to two. And now I want to be clear here. Mm-hmm. This time, what you're looking at is tear away pants. Right? <laughs> he goes for the knees, tears the pants away, and in the flurry of the pants going everywhere, just re just reappears on the other side of the Drake. <laughs> With no pants, <laughs> just boxers now. I'm here for it. Uh, we'll do the ghost attack first. Just because that was that was awesome. Yeah. Yes. Well, he's showing up. The ghosts are here, man. You should summon this guy more often. Uh, right? Uh, the ghost, <laughs> just very briefly, uh, gets, you know, like the Drake is moving around defending itself, and the ghost just like shivs it with the paper fan. And the just right through it, arm is out the other side, and he's like trying to hand the fan to you through the creature. And the creature is it like you could tell like liver, kidney, pancreas, some internal organ has been fatally ruptured as a result of this ghost attack, and the Drake collapses dead. What do you want to do? Where's the where's that wyvern that's been flying? That's around? a great question. You want to make a perception check real quick? <laughs> sure. I'm great at all the skill checks. Yep. Nope. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, you're not. Especially with disadvantage, because you look exhausted. around. You're yeah. just you're trying to concentrate on looking. The sky has been absolutely fucked by Guineria transiting into the Fey realm. Sunlight is bright in your face. The horrifying stench of the black drake. You just there's just too much confusion in the sky around you. Okay. Um, I'm gonna use the last of my turn to move the ghost just just out of the water. Okay. Uh, and then I think that's my turn. I need everyone to make a perception check again. Okay. Once again, the loser will be attacked. Do you need me to make another one, or do you want to just oh, take yeah. the two? Yeah, no, you made an active oh, one. Now you made the, 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 those, those that are taking cover. Do they get any benefit? Kuneira yeah. and Martel? I will give them partial cover against the attack, but okay. they don't get a benefit to perception. I would hey, make a case let's that go, they Kuneira. <clears throat> so let's see here. Is it once again Godric has failed? It is once again Godric. Yep. It is once again. He's just trying to get a lever, and he's just not seeing it. Mm-hmm. Oops. He doesn't see it because it's behind him. Isn't it? Always... Oh yeah, it is twenty-three. Yep, oh, Does a twenty-three no. hit? Does a twenty-three hit? I'm mean, yes. yep, twenty-three hit. <laughs> just wait. One day it's not going to. Uh, I need you to make a Constitution save versus poison damage, which may be different for dwarves. Yeah, I think Don't I did. Have resistance against that stuff? I have something against it. Okay, well, we start with you taking 10 points of... Here's you get damage. advantage on advantage on poison and saves. Sure, go yeah. ahead, make, wow. that, make that save. How lucky are you? So what is it? Save a con? Con, con, save. con save with advantage. Yep. We have advantage. Of all the people that should be getting this, this is probably the best option. 17th. Good lord. That was not a great roll for me. 17th is a pretty good roll, though. Can you guys yeah. see the wyvern right now? No. Uh, no. Okay. And you see the wyvern now? No. 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 That didn't help, huh? Have you made it invisible? I thought I did, but now it's just like <laughs> shadowing its way around. Gosh damn, invisible dragons. That, you might need to yeah, right, right click and then turn off the invis- turn off invisibility. That Drake just flew out of nowhere. <laughs> it's not letting me untoggle it. Just Let's remove see. the token and put it back on again. 
I tried doing that. It's just not working. I can't make a copy of it either. All right, something has gone wrong with it. Oh God, now there are fucking dozens of them on the screen now. All right, something has broken deeply with this token. We can pretend. I was gonna say, can you just copy one of the other drakes and just use? Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm scale working it on up? something. I'm working. I'm working. Please hold. I think I'm gonna um, play pretend. I will, but yeah. In like the mind's eye. What Come is on. happening? Yeah. Here? Okay. The problem is that Wyvern has a. So you got it with the Wyvern. Go to its um, active effects and turn off invisibility. Yeah, it's not letting me do that. So I'm just reloading the page real quick. Just wanna lose you Because it's in the it's in yeah. the there, there, there it is. Okay. Okay. Yeah. There we go. There's uh, wyverns everywhere. No, there's just one oh right. Here. <laughs> All right you uh, made your they save. Uh, are they life size? Hold on, hold on, hold on. You take half of this. Oh my god, what a great roll. Jesus. You take what 16 points of poison damage. <laughs> oh shit. Absolutely unreal. How many hit points do you have, my dude? Uh, left? I have 13. Uh, okay. It's not terrible. <laughs> How do you resize the token? Right click on it, go token properties, and change its size to 2x2 two two rather than 1x1. One one. Little little gear icon. Oh, in appearance, I see now. Yes. Yep. Whoa. Right. It just enlarged. <laughs> it is, to be clear, hovering 15 feet over Godric and stabbing down at him with its stinger. Okay. And I'm now reach. going to add it at Love the that. beginning of the round to the proper initiative order. I need to remove these guys. That was so many dice. 76. Shit. Yep. yep. Not great. Okay, so the one with the 14 does not get removed. Doing a little housekeeping, folks at home. Gwyneria. The wyvern finally shows up. It's not ah. great. It should be noted, again, even though it is floating 10 feet above you, mm -hmm. you are threatened by it. It can reach you, even though you can't stab it. Well, maybe I can't stab it, but I could do something to it. Sure, please. I hold out my hand and I snap and push and say wave. And he's going to use up my second level. You're using Thunder Wave again? I'm using na, na, Thunder na, Wave na, 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 na. in the air. Yeah. 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 So I'm going upwards to Thunder Wave it. So that I don't hit any of my companions. Sure. Okay. Let <laughs> me just see what Chris Perkins has to say about prone and flying. Why would it be prone? I thought Thunder Wave when you failed knocked No, no, it just prone. knocks him back. Yeah, well. you just oh, get more fun. Well, that'll actually Even push higher it further. into the sky. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yep. Uh, save was constant uh, wisdom, right? Save type. Constitution, Constitution. saving throw. Wow. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, this will it may not work out. Can this wyvern hold its liquor? Let's find out. Yes. Nope. Normally it can. Nope. That just didn't work. Oh. Okay, it is pushed 10 feet further into the air to a height of 25 feet. It takes 13 points of damage. So there's like a weird cat noise that's on this track, and I keep thinking it's my fucking cat, Amore. <laughs> As long as it's not Panthers, I'm okay with it. It's. <laughs> I keep getting the feeling that I haven't fed her, even though I know that's not true. All right, Guineria, your attack is strangely effective in what you wanted it to do, pushing it away from you. So you're yeah. now no longer threatened by it. 
It is simply threatening. Mm -hmm. Would you like to do anything else? Uh, I am going to move further back under the tree. Mm -hmm. So that when it comes back down, maybe I'm a little bit further away from it. Okay. Venera. Um, since I can't really punch it in the sky, I think I'm just going to move. You don't have a sky punch yet? Not yet. I'm, I'm learning. I'm going to figure it out. Uh, I'm going to go under this tree real quick and uh, use my boomerang. Which I don't think I actually have a button for. You just roll a d20 and then add whatever in the... All right. Be. Probably doesn't hit. Uh, yeah, it straight up just knocks the boomerang out of the sky. Yeah. Uh, okay. Then I don't have any key points left, so that's my turn. Patrick. Can I ask you to... Yeah? Oh, yeah. Okay, so, sorry. I, I, I thought you were telling me it was his turn. Yeah. I, listen, guys, I do this thing where I say somebody's name before I describe something to them. With this group, I don't know that I can do that. <laughs> <laughs> Godric. Yep. You get your choice. Athletics or acrobatics? Athletics. Okay. Let's make our rolls. You're going on a little trip, my friend. Am I, uh, am I still a disadvantage because we're fatigued? Uh, yes. Yes, you are. Good memory. Oof. Yep. That's what I get. It was definitely a 15. <laughs> uh, it dives down, grabs Godric, and drags Godric uh, 60 feet back up into the air. Oh, shit. God. Holding on to Godric. It has its tail wrapped around your body, and its rear claws are locking your arms to your side. Okay, you said it takes me 60 feet up? Oh, yeah. Okay, my uh, echo dissipates because I'm too far away from it. All right. It can take you higher, by the way. Oh, yeah, I'm sure it can. To a place take where blind you men see. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, sir, we can do that, but we can't do ACDC. <laughs> <laughs> People might I actually... wasn't singing. I was saying it. You sure. sang it. Sure. Maybe people actually care about ACDC. Maybe that's why. Wow. The old back end. Ah. Listen, it was a banger. Okay. Kith tricks. It is your turn. All right. I have a, a mechanical question for you. This is yeah. something that's open to debate. Can you cast Entangle in the air? Boy, let me look it up in the yeah. rule book. It has a range of 90 feet, but it says that the, the, the flavor description is that weeds burst from the ground within a 20-foot yeah. square. I'm going to say no. Unless okay. you throw a it, seed it, at it. Because it is a common thing to entangle um, uh, flying creatures to make them fall. But uh, throw, a lot of people, it's, it's, it's up to debate as to whether or not they actually... I'm going to say no. Whether, I mean... No, okay. Um... All right, well, in that case, the first time I'm going to use a bonus action to healing word Sparky. Um, which I'll do now. It's the range on healing word. Ah, uh, touch. Oh. <laughs> nice. And Tangle so. specifically includes the words, these plants turn the ground into difficult terrain. Unfortunately, ground does not exist around this wyvern. Not within at least 60 feet. Okay, so Sparky's back up to full health again. Full health, but fully sold? That's a question we'll have to answer later. All right, and then... Uh, for, oops, wrong, wrong button. I will then try um, uh, shooting at the Wyvern. Very well. I think that'll hit. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'll use Sparky's reaction to add the lightning damage to it, and I'll also mark it as my favorite foe. Good call all around. I knew I should have learned archery. <clears throat> so, 14 damage, of which four is lightning. Uh, 
Uh, in Pathfinder, you can have Zen Archers who are almost certainly the most broken build in the game, sub uh, some weird druid shit or gunslingers. Zen Archery is amazing. And, and straightforward, it doesn't require doing a bunch of weird shit, which is normally how you get good Pathfinder builds. As a move action, I'll move that way, and Sparky will stay where he is and dodge. Godric, my man, you are in a lot of trouble. You are grappled yeah. by a flying creature which is dragging you up in the air. I'm fairly certain I'm going to die this turn, or uh, it's next round of combat. Um, I don't know what options I have. Uh, second win. I think when you're restrained, you can still you can still attack. You just have disadvantage, don't you? Correct. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna second wind. Very well. Good. That's First. a good call. Ride it. Oh, that's right. Second wind is a healing ability. Yeah. Um, oh, so is he grappled or, or is he grappled or um or uh, restrained? Both. I was gonna say I don't know if I can uh, actually make the attack or not. So grapple just says his speed reduces to zero. Okay. Restraint says speed reduces to zero, and you have an attack against you have advantage and uh, no, attack. You, you are simply have grappled. Okay, okay so there's no restrained. modifier to attacks then. Okay. Your speed um, your speed is zero. That's it. Then I guess I'm just gonna have to attack it. It's the only thing I can really do. Okay. Uh, 18? Yes. Oh, I, don't, I don't remember what the AC of a wood was. Yeah. Is. It was they're, not very, they're not very high. 14, I think. But you, the answer is yes. Okay. <laughs> That's. Everybody's nine. like, let me just open my, my uh, monster manual real quick. <laughs> uh, and then. I guess I'll go ahead and I'll use my action surge. Get usability and attack again. Oh, there it is. Hmm. Uh, Eleven. Give me too low. Eleven right. will not hit. You... I, should, I should have asked if I could grapple it back. Uh, I mean, you can try to reverse the grapple, but that will not end well for you. Yeah, because its speed will come zero and it will fall to the ground. <laughs> or you could grapple its neck and ride it. Uh, hey, you, you can you can tame wyverns. Start trying to you know like. Uh, <laughs> I mean, we already have a baby dragon. Why not add start, a start trying to break it? Yeah. <laughs> Guneria. Um, I'm pretty sure I'm going to get seismic tossed into the ground here. <laughs> How far up in this air did you say it was? Currently 60, 60 feet. feet. 60 feet. That's just at the edge of my range. So I'm going to do something a little crazy. I'm going to move closer so that I'm within range and I'm going to use my healing word, which is any creature I can see within 60 feet. So you are right. Yeah. I was, I was thinking something else. It is, it is a longer range yeah. than, than here. And uh, I am going to whisper some soothing elven words up to Godric. Actually, That's not that I'll crazy. Just... I thought you were going to do something really insane, but all right. No. No. That's only a bonus um, action two spell, so you can still do an attack or something like that as well. Yeah, well, I don't have if I ca if I use this this spell, I can't cast another spell. You can cast that's true, but you, you could you can cast an you attack. You could bardic inspiration. Yeah, I. Oh, uh, isn't bardic inspiration a bonus, a bonus action? action? Yeah. Yeah, oh, it's bonus action. Yeah. Even oh my goodness, Damn, these D fours are just more, more well, good for me. No, well, at least you get four more hit points, Godric. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Back up you feel better five. until you don't feel better. <laughs> Tanera. Uh, there's not really much I can do at the moment. Uh, I'm just going to hold my action in case it gets closer to the ground. Um, yeah, that's it. I don't have any abilities or nothing. <laughs> feel kind of useless at the moment. Just kind of watching him fly up. A man. 
May I ask you a question? Yes. No, no, not you, not you. I'm oh. looking at Andrew, <laughs> and I know he knows <laughs> that I'm talking to him. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't know if you've seen these crazy... F from World War II up to even uh, the Gulf War, pilots have practice bomb tossing abilities where they fly the plane as level to the ground as possible and then because they know the, the the parabolic arc of the bomb they know that they have to go into a climb and once they get the correct angle of the climb at a certain distance they let go and they know exactly where it will land and then they're forced to fly directly straight up to pull out of the climb at assumably a target that's shooting at them you take another 80 feet into the air, and at the top of that arc, you continue going up, not because the wyvern is continuing to carry you, but because it has let you go and your momentum continues to carry you. And for a brief moment, you get to experience total weightlessness. I will, however, let you take an attack on the wyvern on your way down. Is there anything you want to do? You can certainly attempt to grapple it on the way down. It will require you to let go of your weapon. Mm. That's a tough one. Well, your weapon or your I life. Mean, listen, <laughs> yeah, James' right? suggestion for the grapple. <laughs> well, right? James' suggestion for the grapple is a very enlightened one. But it is fairly all or nothing. <laughs> Well, if I the thing is, if I grapple, it drops the wyvern's move speed to zero too, doesn't it? That yeah, I mean, they're both full. You're gonna, you're gonna pull regardless. <laughs> we'll figure I mean, it out later. Way I'm going down. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, if you're gonna fall, take it with you. That's what I'm saying. Well, yeah. I mean, maybe you can land on it rather than. It's really the on only you. option I have because there's no way one pick attack is gonna bring this thing down. Uh, so yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna attempt to grapple it. Hope, hope to God that. Uh, that I don't, the dice don't betray me today. The unfortunate news is that you do so at disadvantage. Yep. You got uh, this. What is that, athletics? Have you, have you have you used inspiration yet? Uh, I think I used it last last week. Unfortunate. Yep. Yeah, it is a disadvantage, and it has to be athletics. Okay. Uh, the wyvern has its choice of skills. Unfortunately, it is not skilled at at this. Unfortunate for me. Uh, 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 uh. You briefly Jeez. get a hand on it. You basically like brush its leg as you go down. In the process, your pick is falling underneath you. You are tumbling towards the ground and you are fairly certain you are hurtling towards your death. The great news is you only fall 60 feet around, so you're currently 80 feet in the air at the at the end of your turn, which hasn't even come up yet. <clears throat> uh, the wyvern. I think only, I think they're 60 feet around. It's only if you've got feather fall on. Uh, yeah, I was pretty sure you you drop immediately. I... Yeah, feather, feather fall feather fall throws you to 60 feet around, and you land without taking damage. I think you. Hmm. When you fall, six, you 60 descend feet, 60 feet 500 five hundred feet. Okay. Well. Yep. Yeah. The great news is, at the end of the round, you will hit the ground. Yes. I will be dead. Uh, the wyvern does a pylon turn uh, around Sparky, keeping Sparky to its left at all times, and seems to be um, preparing something else. It is also continuing to climb because it is using its action to take a dash. Let's see. That's good. Okay. Getrix. Um, if I cast an entangle under where he's falling, he's going he's gonna to land in the entangle 20 feet before he hits the ground. I don't know if that would be, have any effect on it. I mean, if the tangle lasts for a full minute, it creates a 20-foot cube of of, uh, of vines and plants. I like that. I will take 2d6 off of the falling damage. He will fall 20 less feet. Okay. You will right, well, have I'll, to make a saving throw against the tangle at the end. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> if uh, he survives. Yeah. Okay. So I will. I, my yeah. My my standard action. I will cast uh, entangle. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, where 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 is on the map? It's under where he's supposed to be falling. Yeah, he, so. the, the wyvern took him straight up. Okay. Cool. So, so he is in the same be... location he started in. Okay, which will be uh, he's where he's he's the one above, above the Drake here. Yep. Okay, so that's the entangle area there then. Okay. Um, all right. I am. <laughs> Can I also throw hitting wood off him? Off at him? Um, oh no, you can't cast a. Sure. Uh, yeah, no problem. Uh, no, wait, no, because I've already cast an action spell though. So uh, I can't then cast true. a bonus yes. action. Yep. Yeah, that's right. Yep. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Um. So. Sparky tosses him a potion. <laughs> don't have any posts to toss uh, it's probably all I can really do then um, uh, yep Sparky can't do anything useful here so that's it for me what are you thinking about God Drake Long or Deep Bottom uh, you have a whole turn full of things to do before you hit the ground and you will hit the ground unless you've got some incredible ability some crazy shit the only I don't, I don't think you would let me do this the only thing I could think to do would be wait till I'm close enough to the ground to summon a ghost and then swap yes, places with it yes I will allow it. you to do that yeah swap places with it of course why wouldn't I let you do that because I'm falling 500 feet in one turn uh or I'm falling at a rate of 500 no, that, feet in one turn? That, yes, you can do that. Okay. That's it? You just... You, yeah. You I, narrowly I, avoid your death by using magic to avoid conservation of momentum. <laughs> that said, I need to know who you summon because they <laughs> do not avoid conservation of momentum. And um, they'll know you summon them specifically to die. Ooh, um, so spicy. Yeah, right. Uh, I think it's gonna be the same, the same guy, the jester. The one that, <laughs> I was running around oh, wow. this. Wow. Well, he yeah, sees you falling. Damage. He's waving towards you. You swap places. <laughs> now he's falling. He's going towards the thorns of the entangle. He gives you two middle fingers as he hits them. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. I make a, uh, some kind of check to see if I can dismiss him before he hits the ground. I will allow you to make an arcana check. Yes. Okay. A check right. you have Dude, historically failed arcana. many, yes. many times. Jesus. I was like, how is this gonna... Yes. Uh, 13. I'm the moment to... before he hits a thorn and pops like a balloon. Instead, what passes through is a sort of ethereal green smoke as you save the fool. Can't believe that just happened. Holy shit. I wyvern, thought you were dead. <laughs> the wyvern dead. continues to climb into the air higher and higher, and it is clear that it will make no attempt to return here. Damn. You do, however, notice its presence. It is keeping an eye on you. Um. So we figured out where it is. Should we go back now? I think it's time for another break, isn't it? <sighs> you make an excellent point. All right, we'll do that. Okay. We'll take a break, and we'll be back for the third of third third. As we figure out what to do about pernicious wyverns and the dwarves who survived death <laughs> through chicanery and magic.